Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your September 2020. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Gemini. Gemini, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Gemini, this is for you. We're going to see how this person is feeling about you. And we're going to see if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Okay. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this person's very optimistic here. I feel like they want to advance the situation. I feel like they want to kind of tell you, you know, I want to get more serious here. Maybe they're ready to tell you how they're feeling. Um, very strong law of attraction card here. Very positive about the situation that it's going to go well. The conversation that they're getting ready to have with you will go well. Um, so maybe a little bit of a confession here, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. This is for Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? This resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel? Okay, I'm gonna move forward. Make it happen. They're gonna tell you the truth. Big time confessions here. Okay, so higher levels of commitment, they feel it with you. A higher love, they feel it with you. This is the goal. Um, this could be somebody that you work with. That's for some of you, not all of you. A lot of swords here. This person has been almost conflicted. How do I tell? How do I say this? How do I say this? This person's been through a lot of pain here, Gemini. I feel like they're going to go into that too. But they're also going to go into what they want with you and how they're feeling about you. Look at all this. Look at all these swords. They're very genuine and sincere. They truly do want a partnership here with you. And they want to work hand in hand kind of a thing. Um, they're getting ready to confess exactly what they want, exactly how they're feeling. You could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. Higher love, they feel that with you. Everything that has been hidden, all of these feelings, all of these emotions for you are getting ready to come to the surface with all these swords here. You're not going to be expecting this conversation, but it's going to happen anyway. They're going to make sure of it. They're trying to decide um, when, how, what, when, why, where, how. Right? But it's happening. Uh, so the moon card here, everything that is hidden is going to come to the light. You could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. They want an equal exchange of emotion. They got their fingers crossed on this one. They're going to be taking a risk, right? And they want an equal exchange of emotion here. When they confess to you how they're feeling, they want you to say that back to them, right? They want you to feel the way that they're feeling. And they feel like they're, they're optimistic that you do. Like there's something there. So we're ready to have the talk, that conversation. Nine of Cups, you are what they want. You are their wish fulfillment. <laughs> so um, this is where they want this situation to go. Right? Four of Wands. 
some readers call this 1111 card, right? So they want it to go to this higher love, to a higher level of commitment, fire energy, celebration, being together, maybe moving in together, solidifying the situation at the very least, making things official. Maybe even, you know, saying, you know, I'm in love with you. Maybe even say, I'm in love with you. Let's move in together. Or, or even further than that, this person's got a lot to say. They've been hiding their true emotions for a while. They've just been, I don't know, getting to know you, feeling out the situation. Are you ready? Are they ready? That kind of thing. Because I do see pain here. I do see a lot of hurt that, you know, maybe the two, you have been through a lot. You've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. But um, this looks really good, Gemini. I'm going to read the energies of the cards. And... If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future. If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Keep in mind, uh, cross watchers, that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So swords, 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 everywhere swords. Don't let that freak you out. You know, this. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff here. But I just feel like we're moving on from a lot of drama. We're just moving on and moving towards each other. Finally, there's going to be movement. Why? Because there's going to be this conversation and we're heading in the right direction. Finally, what kind of direction are we heading in? A, com a committed direction, right? So good. Six of swords. That is air, of course. Three of pentacles, right? If there was any kind of residual X energy, we're moving away from that. It's just done, right? Done. Done with the past, both of you. Um, so we're moving towards each other. That's very good. Um, this person admires you. Again, you may work with this person. That's for some of you, not all of you. They put you up on a little bit of a pedestal. So they just wanted the right time, the right place, the right atmosphere, right? To have this discussion, that's what I'm feeling. Um, they really want a true partnership. They want to be um, side by side, side by side, not you walking in front and them walking behind or, or them walking in front and you walking behind. You know what I'm saying? It's side by side. So this conversation is going to take place when you least expect it. For some of you, it could be like during a special occasion or some sort of significant anniversary or something like the first time you ever called me. Now people do that. Um, the first time we ever um, sent dirty pictures to each other. I don't know. Some sort of that I just feel like it's some sort of significant anniversary that we're going to be. Maybe first date, first kiss, first whatever. You know? A lot of people pay attention to that. Knight of Swords. So I just feel like they're going to make this conversation... And the atmosphere around it significant and special. That's what I'm trying to say here. But you're not going to expect it. So, surprise. It's going to be very open and honest and truthful. Here's the sword. Here's the sword. It's all about truthful, open communication. Confessing how they're feeling. What they want. How the situation needs to advance. And um, depending on your journey... You know, it's it could be uh, different levels for different people. You know, let's let's get out of the talking phase and make it more official. Let's move in. Let's get engaged, or so on and so forth. Um, Ace of Swords, truthful communication. They want success here, and they definitely want reciprocity. They want you to give it back to them. It's going to come out of their mouth. They want you to reciprocate. They're leaving the past behind. I feel like this person's been hurt before. You've probably been hurt before. And we're just kind of moving on from that, right? And when, when once they say this, there's no going backward. So they're really hoping <laughs> that it's going to go well and they're not going to end up with another sword on their back, right? Any more information for Gemini and how this person is feeling or what actions they will take towards Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? 
How do they feel? Very nice. They have a lot of respect for you. They're coming to get your attention here. Look at this. It's all up to you. They feel like it's all up to you. They're going to follow their heart in the situation. It's a heart overhead decision. They feel guided towards you. They're coming for you, Gemini. Okay. Um, but they really want you to be able to open your heart and follow your heart as well. Like I said, they want whatever they put out there, they want to get it back because they don't want another sword in their back. They don't want to feel hurt when... Um, if you decide to reject them so they're taking a big chance here be dealing with an aquarius or somebody with strong aquarius in their chart they have a lot of hope they have a lot of faith optimistic right positive thinking and faith will bring you romance hope and faith and wish fulfillment um they're hoping that we travel towards each other we're, they're hoping that we leave the past in the past. They're hoping that this is a very healing energy. You've been very healing towards them, helping them find their balance. And hopefully they've been helping you find your balance. They feel like it's written. It's fate. It's written in the stars, right? Again, um, strong work connection possibly. But that's for some of you, not all of you. But they know that they need to give you the right type of offer. And, and they feel like they can provide that for you. Like I said, Gemini, they've put you up on a little bit of a pedestal. And here you are. And they see you as very fierce and independent. And um, you got it going on. I mean, they just feel like you got it going on. The single lady card, right? Single person card. You got it going on, Gemini. And they want to be a part of your energy. So... I feel like the reason they haven't said anything up until this point, did they want to get to know you? Yes. But they, this person has a fear of abandonment issues. This person has a fear of, I feel like getting close to anybody, but you kind of, you kind of stole the show here, Gemini. Um, and, uh, they got close to you. Okay. They, they do have this fear, and they may even talk to you about it, that, you know, people just turn their back and leave them. Um, but it's just a fear. It's just a fear. This conversation is going to go extraordinarily well. They're afraid that it won't, uh, but it, it will. Uh, we have the Six of Wands here. This is known as one of the marriage cards in the tarot. They're coming in to grab your attention, to say the things that they need to say, and they're coming in for a victory two cards of victory they want this with you and they want the conversation to go well and i think it will go well no more residual past energy too many people here um, i feel like this person got cheated on and left behind that's the vibe that i'm getting um, maybe you did too but no past energy is going to be interfering in this situation there's going to be a celebration. Like once we have this conversation, they're worried. Okay, is it going to go well? Am I going to get hurt being, being open and vulnerable? Or are we going to celebrate? I feel like we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate. This is something that you want to hear from this person. And they want to hear it right back. Okay, so it's conversation time. It's let's get real. Let's get open. Let's get honest. Let's. Let's have some uh, emotional confessions where we want this relationship to go. And it just, you know, I feel like it's a, a newer energy. That's the feeling that I get. I feel like this person has been cheated on before. Maybe you have too. Um, fear that you'll, fear that it won't go well. Fear that you'll leave them, but they're going to do it anyway. And I feel like it's going to land pretty nicely. Because they, they, um, they want more. They want more and more and more of Gemini. <laughs> All, right. All right, Gemini, that is how they're feeling about you. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links because uh, there are some imposters out there. 
Um, what else, Gemini? Next week I'll be working on the mid-month reading, so check those out. And Gemini, what else do we got? For those of you that are new, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule lets you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule is a little bit screwed up this week because um, I'm kind of recovering from a little bit of surgery, but um, it's okay. I'm doing well, but the live schedule is a little crazy. Um, but I usually go live every day. But Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Check all of that out. Gemini, I hope you're having a great night. And I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless.